Hello everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. I'm Definitely silly. mine. And I have Damien, her sidekick, with me today. And we're over here at a brand new KB home community in the Kestrel Commons Village called Quail Cove. They just opened up last week. They released 12 lots and already sold six. Can you believe it, folks? And it is busy, so I need to get this video done fast. <laughs> All right, let me talk while I'm doing this tour. So they have four different floor plans to choose from. They're all three-story homes. And we're going to take a tour of the plan 1651, which is 1651 square feet, two to three bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half bathrooms, and a two-car garage. Base price starting at four sixty nine nine ninety, 990 And they have three different elevations to choose from. So let's go inside so we can beat the people. All right, so when you walk in, and I'll tell you more about this community. So when you walk in, this is the smallest floor plan. And this one has the bathroom and a den. And you could have an option of making this into a full bedroom with a full bathroom. But for model purposes, they just made it into a den to show you what you can do with it. Um, they have five spec homes or five move-in ready homes where all options have been selected and they currently have seven dirt lots where you can pick and build from ground up. This is not a gated community and the monthly HOA is $95 for Quail Cove, $60 for Summerlin West, whew, and $233 every six months for the sits. So this one's differently kind of set up. This is the smallest again. Trying to hurry. <sighs> Half bath, nice. They put wallpaper. Linen closet. Huh. So this is interesting. They put the patio on this side instead of the other side like mm -hmm. the others, right? So this is a decent size kitchen. With, um, I like this Keller cabinets. And this is a different appliance package. So as I've been talking throughout all these videos, they have different appliance packages. This one has the microwave and a full oven instead of having a separate microwave oven. Not sure if you can get rid of the microwave and just do a vent hood and put the microwave somewhere else. The sink is a large basin sink. And we've been seeing in the other models that it was on the island. And this has beautiful views as well. Oh, I gotta hurry. Large island. All right, so when you buy from ground up, you're going to go to the design studio, but before you even go under contract, you're gonna pick some structural options. Then you're gonna to go to the design studio and pick your flooring, your cabinets, your countertops, your appliance package, your lighting package, all that good stuff. Um, most importantly, all new construction homes come with carpet throughout with the exception in the wet areas like your kitchen and your bathrooms. Um, so I always recommend if you're going to upgrade flooring, make sure that the most area has the hard surfaces where the bedrooms have carpeting. Um, but I would make sure uh, that you do hard surfaces throughout instead of doing carpeting because homes with carpeting don't sell as fast as homes that don't have carpeting, right? Exactly. They tend to sell better. So every, every little thing adds up. Buying a move-in ready home is also a nice option because all the upgrades have been selected already for you, which is a nice feature to have. And these are all nine foot ceilings. I went over HOA, right? Yeah, I did. Yes, you did. All right. Okay, so now this one has the balcony. It just seems weird positioning. It's on the same side as the others, but where it felt, it felt a different layout, right? I think because the kitchen. Ooh, that's nice. It's a beautiful view. This one has beautiful views, but we don't know what's going to be built there. But um, the going trend right now for Summerlin West, especially in the Kestrel Commons and the Kestrel Districts, is three-story homes. And I said it in the last video, and I'll say it again on this video if you didn't hear it, is um, like right across the way is going to be a brand new community called Ravencrest by... Um, Toll, Toll Brothers, it's going to be a townhome community that's three and four stories. Cross away from that is Viero by Woodside Homes, all three-story floor plans, maybe one or two two-story. And then across the way from that is Pulte Blacktail, all three-story homes with rooftop decks. And then you have one single-story community in between, which is Falcon Crest. And then on the other side of that, you have also 
Crested Canyon, which is two and three story floor plans. So the common trend is to build very close together, no yards, and build up, yeah. okay? Because of where this community is located, you have beautiful mountain views, some of the city and some of the strip views, right? Um, and that's why this is very desirable. It's probably more for a younger family generation um, and the affordability is more, it's more affordable here in this village than it is anywhere else because of the many lots or houses that they're putting together. Now, if you've never lived in Vegas, this is like going to be happening across the board. It's going to be very cookie cutter and it's going to be very hard to find any homes with large lots. Mm -hmm. And the urban core, I think, is another yeah. aspect. So of this is going to be super way. close to the urban core, which is a nice shopping center in Summerlin um, that will be right off of the down or Summerlin Parkway, right? Mm -hmm. In between the Kestrel Commons Village and the Red Point Square Village. So I want to go upstairs, but there's people looking, right? Yes. <laughs> what else? So I had done a video recently on all three-story home communities in Summerlin. But of course, when I did the video, this had not been opened. So of course, it's not on my video. I like these green pendant lights. Me too. Though. Very pretty. Yeah. And I like the color of this cabinet, which is probably an upgraded cabinet. Another upgrade is putting the tile backsplash as well as soft clothes. All right. And they match the, this is probably an upgrade. It could be a pony wall instead. Mm -hmm. They match it to the cabinets in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So this one only has two bedrooms and the den downstairs, or it could be three bedrooms. So this one's probably the primary, small primary, or maybe not. Maybe this has its own ensuite. I like the colors. These are my colors, the terracotta and the greens and yeah. the natural. It's like desert modern. Yep. So they went with the generic tub shower insert with the Petrofina countertop and the same cabinets as the kitchen and the same tile floors on the second floor. And then this closet. This has to be the primary right here. What's this, the washer and dryer probably? Oh, yep. look at that, yep. This is probably where you a put a stackable, yep. Yeah, this is the primary. I want to do that to our house, but with lighter wood. Mm, that is beautiful. Yeah, like, that a, cool? like a white oak. A white oak, yep. So this is the primary. It's kind of small, but, you know, this house is only 1651 square feet. Decent-sized closet. They fit it all in here. Yeah. And then the double vanity with the quartz countertops. And then they did the quartz insert with the black trim, which is very nice. That's another added upgrade when you do the black hardware, when it comes to faucets and all your doors with the black hardware. But I like the size of the shower. It's very generic. I'm sure you can customize it as well, but I like the bench and they probably have a little linen closet in here. Yep. And then the toilet room. Mm -hmm. La, 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 la. All right, so to summarize, I don't know if I mentioned this in the beginning, but there are only 144 lots. And as I said in the beginning, I did say this, that they've already sold six and released 12. So that's pretty cray cray. Um, but we're over here in Quail Cove by KB Homes in the Kestrel Commons Village. And we're taking a tour of the plan 1651, which is a three-story home, two to three bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half bathrooms, and a two-car garage. The starting price is $469,990, and that does not include lot premiums or any upgrades that you put into the home. So that's very important to know. But if you are thinking about buying a home here in Summerlin, not just particularly in this community, it's very important that when you tour the model homes, you bring your real estate agent with you on the very first visit. Otherwise, we would not be able to represent you, and I, and free of charge. Yes. And I sell a lot of new construction and I sell a lot in Summerlin. So you need an expert on your size. Side mm -hmm. size. So you call at 702-370-5112. And we really appreciate us. And we really appreciate you watching. Let us know in the comments what you think of all these floor plans. And make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Cause I love going over these model homes in Summerlin. <laughs> Anyway, folks, thanks.
Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you on the flip side.